you're watching Talking About Orcs. So today we're going to talk about the Big Mech. The Big Mech is the next HQ choice that you can take. He is a lot cheaper than the War Boss and pretty much has the stats of your average knob. And he can take all the same gear that the War Boss can uh, almost exactly. Plus the Big Mech has a lot of other fun toys that no other model in the Orc Army can take. Which is why you will see a Big Mech very, very frequently. He's not as tough or as good in close combat as a war boss, obviously, uh, being only weapon skill 4 and toughness 4, with 2 wounds and 3 attacks, 3 initiative. He does, however, uh, provide a support role for your army. Again, as I said, being able to do things that no other model in the army can do. So what makes a big mech special? The two items that make the Big Mech special more than anything else is one, the shock attack gun, and two, the custom force field. In addition to the Big Mech being able to repair vehicles with his mech tools. So let's go over these two things one at a time. First let's talk about the shock attack gun. The shock attack gun is a lot of fun and it can be quite powerful. Shock attack gun is a 60 inch range large blast AP2 with strength equal to 2d6 and every double or 11 does something special let's say. Doubles are usually bad other than double sixes that is. Doubles are bad for the orc player. Or at least they can be bad. Some, some are not so bad. Some are fun. Some are really bad. Uh, of course, the double sixes is the ultimate. The double six on the shack attack, shack attack gun uh, basically gives you a five inch vortex grenade, which will remove anything under the template from the game or provide an automatic penetrating hit to any vehicle. A lot of people take a shock attack gun because it does provide that pie plate with just, just amazing range. But with the under 5th edition, the shock attack gun is not as good as it was under 4th. Because with 4th edition, of course, uh, there was that, the independent character uh, targeting rules, which protected the mech from being shot at. He doesn't have that luxury now under 5th edition. So placement has got to be a lot more careful. Uh, he has to be in cover if you're going to take a shock attack gun. And you also have to be prepared for things to go wrong. When I took a shock attack gun, and when I played it, uh, most of the time he actually did uh, enough damage to make it worth taking. Uh, I've never actually had it had him blow up on me. I have, did have him you know, teleport across the board several times, and I've actually only rolled double sixes once, and that was against Black Templars, and I took out most of a command squad, or whatever they call it. Uh, with the uh, with the vortex, uh, so if you want a pipe plate, um, it's cheap and uh, it's AP two. AP two is good. I mean, even at strength three, even if you roll three or five, uh, and you fired some terminators, you're gonna do some damage. You're gonna kill terminators. You're gonna uh, have a good chance of of killing whatever you put into the pipe plate. Of course, the downside in under 5th edition also is the prevalence of cover saves, uh, which kind of negates the AP2 to a certain extent. Uh, but you probably won't see a whole lot of shock attack guns anymore. I've personally only played a shock attack gun um, maybe once in the last year. When I first started getting the orcs, I got the shock attack gun because I wanted the pie plate and I wanted the AP2. But, uh, that pretty much stopped as soon as I got the custom force field mech. And I also learned that AP2 really isn't that big a deal. Uh, orcs don't need AP2. Orcs
orcs just do volume of fire and make you roll ones. So the other option for the big mech is the custom force field. The custom force field is probably one of the best single pieces of war gear in the codex, if not the game. The custom force field will provide a 5 plus cover safe to any unit within 6 inches. When that within is very important, not entirely within, just as long as there's some part of the unit within 6 inches, it gets the cover safe. In addition to that, any vehicle counts as obscured, which gives vehicles a 4 plus cover safe. Um, there will be some people that will argue that vehicles only get the 5 plus cover save instead of 4 plus, and you answer them by saying they get both. They get both the 5 plus cover save for being a unit, and they get a 4 plus cover save for being obscured. And that should end the argument. So the, the uh, custom force field will give your, however you choose to use it, will add a um, level survivability to the orc army, uh, which it just doesn't need. It just shouldn't have. It's, it's almost too good. I, I'll admit that. The custom force field is almost too good. If you're running with a horde, you put him with one of the mobs, and you put him near the middle, and then you can uh, keep each each mob within, even you only have the front unit within six inches of the custom force field, so they get the five plus cover safe, because then anything behind them will get the four plus cover safe from intervening units. Uh, and vehicles, vehicles are where the, the custom force field comes into play. You put the mech with the custom force field in a battle wagon, you've now got a vehicle that's tougher to pop from shooting than even a land raider. And of course there's always a chance that you just can't pop it at all depending on if your dice want to play with you tonight or not. In addition, when the mech is in the battle wagon, he can fix it. If you get an immobilized or weapon destroyed, he can fix it while he's inside. So it gives you a double benefit for one very cheap model. Now, you and I run the custom force shield. I always give my mech a burna because uh, I do want to be able to use him as an effective model uh, should he have to get, or when he has to get out of the battle wagon. Because uh, they're with the prevalence of anti-vehicle, uh, the battle wagon just doesn't survive as much as it used to. So I give him a Burna and a cyborg body. And altogether it comes to the model coming at uh, 115 points. The Burna uh, is, is, the only, is another great option. Uh, it's the only character that can take a Burna, uh, which is nice because he can actually use it as a power weapon. So the Burna on the mech is the only, um, well not the only because you got the Burna voice, but the only uh, uh, power weapon that's really accessible to the orc armory, so to speak. And he's, no, he's really not that bad in close combat. On the charge he'll be strength 5 and initiative 4 with the power weapon and 4 attacks. So he's gonna, he's gonna cut down some marines in close combat. So, and there's really not much else. I mean, if you're going to do anything else with the mech, uh, there's really no point. You spend the extra 25 points and get the war boss instead. Uh, you can give him mega armor like a war boss. You can give him a bike. You can give him combi weapons. You can give him a custom mega blaster, uh, but again, I don't know why you would. Putting an AP2 single shot on a PS2 orc is just a complete waste of points in my point in my opinion. Um, so that's really all there is to the Big Mech. Take a custom force field or you can enjoy have some fun with the shock attack gun. Uh, the Big Mech is the ultimate support HQ slot for an absolute price bargain. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs.